HQ. And today we'll be building a mobile app using Adalo.com and we'll be building a used car marketplace. So basically a directory of used cars that are for sale and users will be able to browse through all used cars, um, contact the owner, see information and of course also post their own uh, uh, listing. And uh, you can create a Adalo account for free and start building uh, your first app um, for free. So. I, I'm already in the Adalo dashboard and I clicked on create a new app and let's start off by going through this pop-up. Uh, let's select native mobile app and we can choose from a template. I'm going to choose the blank template and for branding you can choose the colors of your app. So I'm going to choose maybe um, a blue color or something like this maybe and you can of course give uh, your application a name. I'm going to call it uh, car marketplace and let's click on create. And we'll be brought into a, da a, da a Dalo uh, app editor. And just as an overview, so basically here we have our drag and drop um, uh, visual editor. We have the ability to add new components, which are like elements, uh, as well as new screens with predefined elements. We have the ability to change the branding, um, see all the screens that we currently have, and also go within and see all the elements within a screen. Of course, we could modify our database. More on that later, we can modify settings and of course publish to the app store and currently as you can see we automatically have the sign up uh, the login and the home page which are created uh, and uh, yeah they're they're automatically created so that works quite fine so let's start off first of all by creating our database so let's click on database and a collection is basically a data type and we currently have a user collection okay uh, but we also want to add another collection and we want to call that a listing and each listing will be basically be one card that is displayed uh, on our app, so let's click Add, and let's add a few properties. So the name maybe it should be the um, um, the make and model. We want to have a description maybe, which is a text as well. So let's add a description. Okay, let's save that. Um, let's add a price, of course, which is a number. Let's add an image, which is the image of the car. And let's maybe add a. Um, is there anything else we can add? I mean, there, there, there would be a lot of different fields that you could add. Um, however, I think that, that should be it for now. And let's also add, of course, a relation. So we want to add a relationship between a listing and a user. So let's add a relationship to a user. And as you can see, there's three different types of relationships that we can um, choose. If you're kind of familiar with databases a bit, you know what, what it is. This is one to n, n to one, and n to m relations. But um, just to explain it quickly, it's explained quite nicely by Adalo itself. So here in this scenario, one user can have multiple listings, but one listing only belongs to one user. In this scenario, one user can have um, only one listing, but one listing ha has multiple users. And this scenario, many listings can have many users, and many users can have many listings. So in this case, of course, we're going to choose this um, relation because one user can have multiple listings, but only one listing should belong to one user. So let's click Done. And we have this uh, relation set. And as you could see in the users collection, the, the listings relations also automatically uh, created. Okay, great. So let's start editing our app itself. So um, let's actually change um, the, um, the, the app bar here. So let's go to add. Let's add a component. We want to add a navigation. And I'm going to choose a tab bar. Let's add that here. Okay, as you can see, we have our tab bar now. And we only need two tabs in, in our application. So I'm going to disable all the tabs except the first two ones. Okay. Um, our first tab should be our home tab. That's correct. But we could maybe call it listings. And you could change the icon to a car maybe. And our second tab should be our profile. We have some, well, maybe this here. And it's going to be the profile. Okay, and um, that's it, great. Let's add another screen, so let's click Add, let's add a screen, and let's actually use one of their templates, and I think a form would be quite quite good. So let's choose a form, let's just click that, and let's call the screen profile, let's add that. And so we have our second profile here. Let's click on the header here. I wanna remove the left icon, we don't need that. And I wanna copy, I'm gonna click Control C, Control V, and I'm just gonna copy that tab bar onto here, okay? The active tab on this page is going to be the second tab, okay? And we can now uh, modify the relation. So on this tab, when the second tab is clicked, which is profile, 
on press, we want to go link to the profile page and we don't want to have any transition. Okay. And same applies here. If the listings tab is clicked, so um, first tab on press, we want to link to the home page or home screen without any transition. Okay. Next, let's click on the form here. And it asks us which data collection we want to modify. In this case, we want to modify a user. However, we want to modify the, the logged in uh, user. So we want to update the logged in user. Okay. As you can see, um, Adalo automatically recognizes what user fields we have. So our email, password, username, and full name, and so on. And we can update these fields. And the submit button we can change to just update. Okay. And uh, let's remove the action afterwards. Okay. Great. So that's it regarding uh, updating our profile, but let's actually um, add also the ability to um, create new listings. But before we do that, actually, let's actually modify how a listing should look. So let's add on, click on add component, and let's go to lists, and you can choose one of the lists here, um, either a custom list maybe, or a card list, depending on what you prefer. I think I'm gonna choose, or actually I'm gonna use a card list. So let's choose, um, card list, which looks quite nice. Let's just drag that inside, make that a bit smaller maybe, and center that, okay? And let's add a title as well. So let's just search for a text. And we're gonna drag that text here. Again, center the text like this. And I'm gonna say uh, all listings. And we can modify the style. So let's say this should be centered. Um, should be a bigger font size, 22. And be a line center, it's top none, and uh, we can change it more. I don't know why this doesn't work. It's, yeah, okay, it works now. Okay, all listings. Okay, like this. Um, and we then now have our list here. And again, we can um, choose the source of this list, and this list should be consist of all listings. Okay. And we could add some sorting or some filter, but we don't need that now. We don't need any maximum. We want two columns, okay? And we want um, we want the title to be the listing maker model, okay? The subtitle should maybe be the price. So let's add the price, okay? So these are variables based, the var using the variables from our database that we created. The media should, of course, be um, the current listing's image, yeah? Uh, and um, the body, but let's actually remove the body. We don't need a body. Okay, great. So let's actually drag that to the side here. Can we move that? No, we can't. Um, let's now add the, the detail view. So if a user clicks on an individual column here on a card, he should be brought to the detail view of the car. So let's add another screen. Okay, and this screen should be maybe um, an info screen. And uh, let's use um, let's use this one here. Okay. Let's call that detail, or let's call it listing actually. Create screen. We want to link from this to here. So let's say, okay, when a user presses a card, we want to link to the listing screen, and we can have a transition as well. Okay. Okay. So if we take a look at our screens and go to the listing screen. Um, just click on that. You can see we have available parameters, which is the current listing. So a dialog recognizes, okay, because this card is uh, basically connected to the listing page, we have access to the current listing, and we can now use that um, current listing to modify the data here. So what, what I want to do, I want to have a title, and the title should actually be a variable, so we can choose the current listings make and model, okay? Um, we can change the image, of course, which should be the dynamic image, which is the current listings image. Okay. Um, maybe let's add the, des the um, description here. If we have one. This should just be the current listings description. Okay. Let's remove the rest here, like this. Um, let's also have um, a second, like this. Let's also have um, the price, of course, which is important. Let's put this here. Let's take this here. And let's add the price here. Okay. I'm just going to copy this text below. Put that here. And let's say this is the uh, current listing's price. 
and let's copy this again and let's say this is um, um, owner I'm going to copy the 